Hundreds of years ago, there was unrest in the Valley of Peace. Heroes and villains were locked in a constant struggle to prove who was the most skilled. All seemed hopeless, until one day, a Kung Fu student, wise beyond his years, came forward and demanded that a tournament be held to determine once and for all po. who was the most bodaciously awesome Kung Fu master in all the land. Po? Yeah, Po was pretty awesome, but... Po! Oh, hey, Master Shifu. Po, the unrest was not hundreds of years ago. It was last week. All last week. Yeah, but... And the constant struggle was you nagging me to hold this so-called showdown of legendary legends. Well, yeah, but... And I said, yes. Yeah, but... Oh. Really? Cool! <sighs> Everyone is already assembled. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Dreams do come true. Long ago, in an age of ancient, timeless time, the Valley of Peace was totally peaceful. Even the most innocent of rabbits could live without fear. Because this was a time when real heroes roamed the land. Hand over the goods if you know it's good for you. I don't think so, bad guys. Oh no, it's the Dragon Warrior! Not again! Yes, it was a legendary dragon warrior and a furious five. And together they were awesome. So awesome, in fact, that there was to be a celebration in their honor. But... It was not as peaceful in the valley as everyone thought. All of you, come with me. They're almost through! Someone do something! Tai Lung! Ah, it's so nice to be remembered. Yes, this will do very nicely. You may proceed. Round up the rabbits! Get as many as you need to power that thing! Prepare yourselves well. The Furious Five will come. I'm glad you're here. With a celebration coming up, I'm sure you'd feel better if you take a look around. As dawn broke over the Valley of Peace, Tai Lung's henchmen made their way to the village. Help me! Let me out of this thing! The plan was simple. They would cause diversions all over the map, forcing the Furious Five to separate, making them easier to overpower. Ah, come on! That was such a simple plan! We totally could have figured that out! Hurry up and get ready. We have some rabbits to catch. Boss! Boss! We did it! We got one of the Furious Five! <laughs> oh. Oof, you fools! That's only saying! Let me go! I'm telling Master Tifu! Master Tifu! Even though Tai Lung's plan was kind of off to a shaky start, the Furious Five were still in trouble. You are as skilled as you are foolish. You may have a chance. All you have to do is face me in the arena. If you can find me, that is. Come on, then. We're all waiting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so glad they didn't get you. 
But I don't think the rest of the Furious Five were so lucky. By now, they may all be captured. They're also holding more of us. I overheard them say they need our foot power for some kind of plan. It has something to do with that. As they approached the Jade Jar, it was clear that it was an important piece of the puzzle. With the Furious Five in trouble, the warrior would now need to rely on the awesome power of Kung Fu to get some answers. Someone's got to do something! Oh! <laughs> the Black Moon Scavenger Clan was just the start! There's another gang waiting in the mists of the Wudong Mountains! You've got to get up there and stop them! The sacred Wudong Mountains, where Master Ugwe first discovered the secrets of Kung Fu. Oh yeah? You should be. The Dragon Warrior will save us! Haha! <laughs> you just keep telling yourself that, little fella. Right now, the boss wants you to put those feet of yours to work. Come on! We are the Hoof Clan! Leave now, while you still can! Your Kung Fu is great, but the Hoof Clan is not beaten so easily. We also cheat. Ah! Save me! You will be the second of the Fair Five to cross my path today. Another fitting tribute for my master. But he never said you both had to be delivered undamaged. Those horrible yaks from the Hub Clan already captured Mantis! I thought for sure you were next, but you sure showed them! You'd better act fast! They were taking Mantis up to the old temple grounds, saying something about needing his chi! Go! Hurry! Even though the bad guys had been defeated, no one would have been prepared for what awaited Mantis in the Wudan Mountains. For it was here that Tai Lung's plan for revenge was taking shape. Hey! If you don't let me out of here, I'm gonna see red, and then you're gonna see a whole lot of green. I've always admired your fire, little one. Sad and pointless though it is, but now... It's time to add your fire to mine. Wait! I know that voice. Kai Lung? But I thought you... I thought Po... Yes, but what I'm after, only you and the rest of the five can give. Activate the device. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. It seemed as though Tai Lung was on his way to becoming the most powerful warrior the world had ever seen. You fight well. I like that. But it ends here. Attack! This is not the way it's going to end. Now, you face me.
we heard rumors about this stranger, but we never expected it to be Tai Lung. This is terrible! He's more dangerous than ever now! Mantis should recover. We'll look after him. I'm more worried about Viper right now. She was captured by the gorillas and taken high into the mountains. I don't know if Tai Lung was headed that way, but if you hurry, you may still be able to help her. You'll find them in the ruins of Chorgon Prison. It's a bad, bad place now. Be careful. Chorgon Prison. Tai Lung was held there for years until he escaped. The only thing darker than Chorgon Prison was the mood of the guerrilla leader. Ugh. I can't stand this waiting anymore! This place is too safe! What does he expect us to do? Just... just... just sit here?! The guerrilla leader didn't care about Tai Lung or his plan. There was one thing, and one thing only that interested him. Only one sound he longed for, and that sound was... Finally, some action! He just wanted to kick some butt! Anybody's butt! Get to your stations! We're gonna have a fight! Wait a minute. Is that it? Just you? You mean I got all worked up for nothing? Still, you came all this way. I guess we shouldn't let you go away empty-handed. Or even go at all. <laughs> Attack! Ah, that was nothing. Let's see how you do against a real challenge. High winds alert! Take cover! Now, oh, what a shame. Things were just getting interesting. Ugh. It's one of the things about Torgon I really can't stand. The unpredictably high winds. See you inside. If you survive! Ah! I knew it! You are a worthy opponent. Almost worth the wait. We will now face each other in combat. Thank you for freeing us. You are very brave. But even though you've nearly freed us all, Tai Lung still has enough of my friends to power his device one last time. We can take care of Viper, but someone has to stop Tai Lung. He's very powerful now. The more chi he absorbs from the Furious Five, the stronger he becomes. Tai Lung said the crane was the only one left. He's back in the valley and has no idea what's coming his way. You have to go help him. It was true that Crane had no idea what was coming his way. Neither did the valley. Each step Tai Lung took towards the village took him closer to his revenge. The chi that he'd stolen made him feel invincible. No one could stop him. And soon the Valley of Peace would be all his. Oh, great master. Word has reached us about those who would try to save the Valley of Peace from your righteous plans. Your righteous plans? Righteous. Really? Tell me who. We do not know for sure. Just that they are following and are not far behind. We hear that they are fast and brave. Very fast. And very brave. I see. Then I leave them in your capable hands. I trust you will not disappoint me. We live to fight. We live to fight! Normally, Tai Lung would have liked nothing more than to face this warrior himself. But he had other plans. Plans that would be coming together very soon. Oh no! Not the celebration! You are too curious. That won't end well. Not for you. No, it won't. Not for you. Everyone, take aim and fire! Hmm, you are 
brave and fast. I'll give you that. So very brave. So very fast. But it seems a shame that you fight to save what is already lost. Crane is ours, and you are next. He's here. It's Time Lord. He's in disguise. He's going to the celebration. Oh, it's getting dark. Leave Crane with us. You've got to stop Tai Lung. Hurry, or we're all doomed. The time had finally come. The Dragon Warriors' celebration. Tai Lung's plan had worked so far. Despite the best efforts of the Valley's protectors, Tai Lung was more powerful than ever. Several of the Furious Five were out of commission. And even now, the crowd was completely and totally mesmerized by his awesomeness. They had no idea that who they were cheering on was really their most fearsome enemy, Tai Lung, ready to make his move. Citizens of the Valley of Peace, you have shown your appreciation of my abilities. For that, I thank you. And in return for your generous praise, I shall have my revenge. from Tai Lung. I am now greater than any so-called dragon warrior. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. So fast, so brave. <laughs> I must say your timing is excellent. Not because you have any chance of stopping me, but because now I can make a perfect example of you. Fighters! It is truly an ingenious process, you know, this chi extraction. I was always good, but after absorbing the chi of just three of the Furious Five, I had no idea how powerful I could become. And now, I want you to feel what it's like to be beaten and cheated from your destiny. Yeah. Wait! Stop! You can't beat me. Not now. It's impossible. I won't let you take my destiny a second time. No! It is said that on that day, a great warrior became champion of the Valley of Peace. Not because of any tricks or winning any tournaments, but simply by following the path of the warrior. Master Shifu always says the path of the warrior is filled with danger, and that following it takes great courage. And so it's Hai Lung defeated, and the Furious Five restored. Peace settled once more over the valley. For this was a time when heroes roamed the land, and adventure waited around every corner. But that is another story. Legend tells of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. He traveled the land in search of worthy foes. The warrior smelled fear in the air, but he knew it wasn't coming from him because he was totally confident. Oh, greatest Kung Fu master in the entire universe and beyond! Save me! 
Hey, get back here, rabbit! We're not done with you yet! Better stand back, little guy. Once I unleash my total awesomeness, even I cannot be held responsible for what happens. Great work, son! Who knew you would be such a kung fu master? Clearly, the warrior's dad had underestimated him. Perhaps, then, you are ready for this! Not even the toughest of enemies were a match for his sheer bodacity. Well, well, who do we have here? I am the Dragon Warrior. Now step aside, bad guy. The warrior's reputation for being the best of the best, of the best, of the best, followed him wherever he went. I see, you like to chew! Perhaps you like to chew on my fist! Enough talk. Let's fight! Don't let him get away! There is no escape! Shashabui! Even when faced with the legendary Sword of Heroes, the warrior didn't flinch because he was that much of a master. The master's reflection in the Sword of Heroes looked especially brave today. It's him! Not him! Yes, him! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh, shut up! Let's go! I am Kai Lung, and you are no master! <laughs> hey, what? Son, quit daydreaming. I got four orders for my famous secret ingredient soup and only two hands! Come on! Okay, Dad. And I was just getting to the good part. Okay, so even though the warrior dreamed of being a kung fu master, he knew he had a little work to do. I mean, he had some moves, but he wasn't exactly, you know, a kung fu legend yet. Unfortunately, his dad wanted him to be more like the master of noodles. Still, the warrior totally knew that one day he'd be legendary, like the greatest of kung fu heroes, the Furious Five. Who, it turned out, were about to compete in the ultimate tournament of kung fu explosiveness to see which of them would be named the Dragon Warrior. Oh yeah. The warrior knew he had to see the five in action, and nothing was going to stand in his way. Okay, well, almost nothing. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, oh no! No, no, no! Wait! Stop! Don't close the doors. Okay, here. Use the ballista. That should clear a way for you to get in. Ah, wait! It's a five! Yeah! Oh, so freaking awesome! Wait! Oh no! Oh no! you hadn't shown up, you can use this ballista here to blast open those bags of confetti and clear a path into the arena. Oh, sweet! Thanks, little guys! Yeah. That's using the old noodle. I am Tigress, master of the tiger style. I am ready to fight!
I sense the dragon warrior is among us. Citizens of the Valley of Peace, Master Ugwe will now choose the dragon warrior. Sorry, I just wanted to see who the Dragon Warrior is. Uh, Master, are you pointing at me? Him? Who? You. The universe has brought us the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Yay! Oh! Me? Okay, so this is where the legend of the Dragon Warrior really takes off. See, Master Uwe was sure the universe had brought them the Chosen One. But Master Shifu was kind of a tough sell. He didn't really think the warrior was who he was supposed to be. He thought maybe it was all kind of an accident. So did the Five. Actually, even the hero was a little surprised. But when the warrior finally saw the Furious Five in action, oh yeah, he totally knew he was in the right place. Whoa! Awesome! Focus. You will begin here, with these combat dummies. Oh, okay. I just ate. I'm still digesting, so my kung fu might not be as good as later on. Just hit it. After you eliminate each dummy, I will light a torch. When all of the torches are lit, I will give a signal and the door will open to the next area. Understand? Totally. So you think you're the Dragon Warrior? Uh... uh. <laughs> Listen, I will say nothing against Master Ugwe, and I don't know how you managed to get this far, but let me put it this way. I think my record is safe. Well, look who made it. Not bad. For a panda, I mean. Thanks, Master Monkey. Wow, I just thank Master Monkey. But that last room was a mere warm-up for this one. I'd like to see you break my record. Looking for me, Poe? Master v Viper? Wow. You even know my name. Of course I do. But I'm afraid your good fortune is about to run out. This is my room and my record. Both are unbeatable. I must say, I'm surprised to see you. That wasn't so bad. You know, I've seen worse. Yeah, all the time. I just use my fancy kung fu moves is all. Do not be fooled, Panda. You still have a long way to go if you are indeed the Dragon Warrior, as Master Ukwe believes. Okay. So, how much time do you think this is gonna take? A long, long, long time. Oh. As the hero trained, his legend spread across the land, even reaching the dark depths of Chorgom Prison, where Tai Lung waited. When Tai Lung heard that someone else would be granted the Dragon Scroll, he burned with rage! He knew it was time to escape and claim what was rightfully his. But first, he'd send Shifu a message. As Zhang, the palace goose, flew home to tell Master Shifu of Tai Lung's escape, a dark storm gathered. Soon Tai Lung would return, and when he did, it would determine the fate of the Valley of Peace. I'm so hungry right now. We haven't robbed anyone in days. Ooh, looks like our luck is about to change. <laughs> oh my goodness, help! Hey Zhang, you okay? 
They, they just, they just winged me. I have news for Master Shifu. Must, must get to the palace. Okay, take it easy. I've got you. Next stop, the Jade Palace. Master Shifu, I have news. Tylon is free! He escaped from Shorgum Prison. He's coming here, here to get the Dragon Scroll. Ah! He will take Tai Lung some time to get here. We must see to the village at once. Okay, guys, uh, sounds great. Let me just grab a snack so I can uh, build up my... Uh... Okay, I guess I'll just talk to you guys when you get back. Ah! Ah, intruder! Oh. Intruder! Oh, more! 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 Oops! Uh oh. Aha! Panda? How dare you challenge the Black Hoof Boar Clan? What happened here? I see. You did well, Panda. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. Cause you know, I used my super panda bamboo awesomeness and yeah, I was only pretending to be asleep. You know, these guys came in, and I went, Watch out! Focus! I need you to focus. While we were in the village, we heard that the Croc Gang has invaded Lotus Lake. Word is starting to spread about Tai Lung. We've got to do something. Master Crane, why don't you and Poe go see what you can find out? Whoa! Me and Master Crane? Oh, woohoo! Oh, fun. Let me get my stuff! Me and Crane are going on a mission! Woo! With the Jade Palace safe and the Black Hoof Boar clan defeated, the Dragon Warrior, there, I said it, was feeling pretty good. Maybe now Master Shifu would start to see his awesomeness. Nope, Master Shifu totally stiffed him. He was worried about other stuff, like the Imperial Golden Croc Gang. But Master Shifu didn't know yet that the Crocs invaded Lotus Lake for a reason. See, they knew the legend of Tai Lung. Now that he was out, it was time to get on his good side. And so, the Dragon Warrior and Master Crane, who were about to step into totally insane danger, started out on the trail towards Lotus Lake. Master Crane, and you must be Poe. We've heard about you. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, it's been awful. The crocodiles, they're everywhere. They're trying to steal our hatchling eggs. Crocs? I'm really more of a boar specialist. Uh, Master Crane handles Crocs. Ahem. <clears throat> Master Shifu said this is for you to do, Poe. My, Poe. You must be an experienced warrior. Well, uh... But you have years of training. Well, uh... Okay. Then, how are you at finding eggs? Eggs? Me? Tops. Well, then that's the plan. You're on foot. I'll search overhead. Good luck. Okay, then. Goodbye, Poe. I'll meet you on the other side of the lake. Wait, other side? What? Master Poe! Um, I really wish you wouldn't say that so loud. It's kind of not kung fu -y sounding, you know? The Crocodile Queen has set up her lair in the town plaza. We must get there fast. Quick, hop on! Is there a weight limit? Because I may have put on a pound or two. Don't worry. Just keep your balance. <laughs> shh, shh. 
Come on, little guy. Shh. Oh, hello. Who dares to wake me? Hang on, little guy. Sergeant. Sergeant! <laughs> Woohoo! I'm lighter than air. Not to me. Stop them! Master, you have returned. And with a baby hatchling. Thank you. You are a true hero. Um, I, I helped, you know. Oh, yeah. Good flapping. Uh, oh! Aw, cute little guy. Since the awesome Dragon Warrior had defeated the Croc Gang's toughest guy and broke their hold over Lotus Lake, he began to get, you know, sort of a reputation. Even Master Shifu began to take notice. Phew! Finally! But even though he began to see something in the Dragon Warrior, the five didn't, especially Tigress, who totally wanted to take on Tai Lung herself. So Master Shifu led the Chosen One deep into the Wudan Mountains, which everybody knows is where Master Ugwe invented Kung Fu. Oh, that is totally freaking awesome! Anyway, Shifu had an idea. If the Chosen One couldn't be trained same as the Five, he was going to try something, you know, more on his level. Hey, I'm getting kind of hungry. Just one more ledge, Paul. Ugh. I know you're trying to be all mysterious and Kung Fu-y, but where are we going? Behold. Wu Dan Temple, built in honor of Master Ugwe's discovery of Kung Fu. There, you will find the ancient relics of the original Kung Fu forms, figures shaped from the jewels and living jade from this mountain. Many great warriors met their fate, attempting to reach Wu Dan and unlock the mystical secrets of these relics. Oh, must be a pretty good secret. Hmm, looks peaceful enough. Hmm. Great Gorilla and his minions. Huh? The Great Who and his what's? Move out! Now! <laughs> when Tai Lung was imprisoned, the Gorilla army was finally banished from these hills. As feared, with his escape, they are back. They must be kept from finding the relics and destroying the temple. Cool, uh, let's come back when he's not so angry. Now! Those Gorillas have no respect for Kung Fu. They are only here to plunder the riches from this land, and they will destroy the temple and relics to do so. We will not allow that, will we? No, sir! Master, sir. What? A panda? Impossible. You there! This is my territory! What are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Your ginormousness, ness. Uh, especially not looking for any super sacred kung fu relics. What the? Heads up! No! Ah! The relics. After him, Poe. Shibuya! How you like panda style, baby? Well done! Woo! You did not suck. Gee, thanks. The dragon warrior had defended the Wudan Mountains and the sacred relics. Uh, with Master Shifu's help, of course. But the gorillas were still a mean bunch. Sure, they didn't have their leader anymore. But they weren't gonna go down that easy. In fact, it was now even more likely that they'd try and cozy up to Tai Lung. Master Shifu knew time was running out. He had to get the sacred relics and the increasingly awesome dragon warrior. 
back to the palace and regroup with the five. Uh, Master Shifu, how much further is it to the palace? One step closer than the last time you asked. Hey, what's this? Trouble. It's just an old bridge. I don't see anything. Because you are not looking. If you were, you would have seen the goose. What goose? Ah! Ah! Wait! Maybe you guys can help! The Croc Gang has taken Pagoda Island! They're holding the others captive! Mm. I understood that you and Master Crane had overpowered them earlier and restored order. We did, Master. Me and Master Crane, we saved those cute little tortoise guys and totally kicked some ugly gator butt. You should have seen it! All right, then. You can go first. I will take the relics for safekeeping and meet you on the island. We leave at once. Well, I am glad to see you finally made it. Hey, you had a boat. All this jumping around isn't as easy as I make it look, you know? <laughs> of that I am sure. Now, get over here and fend off these crocodiles. I am needed up ahead. Uh, right, Master Shifu. On my way to, uh, Fen! Make sure you check the pagoda for prisoners, then meet me at the river's entrance. Check. Time to eat panda paw crocodilios. Wow! Not bad. I take it the croc gang has been defeated this time. Totally. They begged me not to use my flying butt drop technique. Did it anyway. What next, Chief? I have just received word that the Furious Five have left the palace to comfort Tai Lung on their own. We have got to make our way to the end of the river. And, uh, don't call me Chief. Aye, aye, Captain. Got it. Uh, bring any snacks for this voyage? The five are heading for a remote and treacherous part of the Wudan Mountains to meet Tai Lung in single combat. Wow! Single combat? Well, why not all together? Since they're, uh, together. Crazy. <sighs> this is my fault. I must go to them while there is still time. You, you will continue on to the palace with the sacred relics. It is safe to assume you know the way, right? Ah! Oh. Absolutely. No problem. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, over there. That way, right? Um, you wouldn't happen to know the way to the palace, would you? Even though the Dragon Warrior had prevailed against the Imperial Golden Croc Gang, there was bigger stuff happening. The Five had gone to fight Tai Lung themselves. But as awesome as they were, Shifu knew they were no match for Tai Lung. He had to find them. By now, word of Tai Lung's escape had reached the Lang Shadow Army. The most sinister, snarling, stealth-fighting wolves in China. Yeah, those guys! They knew Tai Lung from his time in the Outlands. And if he was back, it was time to turn the Valley of Peace into the Valley of Pieces. But Tai Lung just wanted the Dragon Scroll, and to fight this so-called Chosen One. He didn't expect the Furious Five showing up, which they did, and challenging him to a fight, which there was, and it was the most impossibly high-leaping kung fu righteousness ever! Very amusing. But are those really the best chief who has? There is only one who is worthy to fight me. So where is this Dragon Warrior? How do you know it's not me? You? <laughs> you forget, I was there at the beginning, when you were just a young cub. Are you the favorite now? <laughs> All right, anyone else? Yeah! Me! Okay, leave it to the little guy.
wasn't so tough. Think we should celebrate? Are you kidding? Shifu taught you well, but not well enough. You're too late, Shifu. Tai Lung has defeated the Veiled Five. Master Shifu, you came! I am sorry, Master. We failed you. No, it is I who failed you. Go back to the palace. I will soon follow. Master Shifu, thank you for getting me out. How did you slip in here? The greater question is, how will you slip out? I am sending you back to the palace. Be careful. Go. Thank you, Master Shifu. I can't stay in bars. Yes, very ironic. I suppose you're angry with us for leaving and fighting Tai Lung on our own. What I feel is of no consequence. It is what I do that matters now. Go back to the palace and join the others. Master. Here, kitty, kitty, back kitty. Off. I said back off! Are you badly injured? Thank you. I'm okay, Master Shifu. Then I need you to head back to the palace to continue Poe's training. Aren't you coming with me? Not yet. Attack! Furious Five defeated, Tai Lung was now one step closer to the Dragon Scroll. And if Master Shifu got in the way, Tai Lung would finally avenge being denied his destiny of becoming the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> I want my scroll! Not good. Master Shifu knew that if Tai Lung got the Dragon Scroll, limitless power would finally be his. He couldn't let that happen. All they could do now was trust Master Uwe's choice. Only the true Dragon Warrior could stand up to Tai Lung and bring peace. But nobody ever said the Dragon Warrior would be good at directions. In fact, by now, he was totally lost. Even worse, he had wandered into the base camp of the Wu Sisters, the most lethal ninja cat fighting force in the known universe! Okay, this is the last time I try hiking. I'm tired, hungry, and I feel like I'm walking in circles. Wait a sec. Look at that. Huts. Maybe someone there has directions. Or at least a snack. Okay, this is the last time I try hiking. I'm tired, hungry, and I feel like I'm walking in circles. Wait a sec. Look at that. Huts. Maybe someone there has directions. Or at least a snack. Anyone mention anything to you about a panda? No pandas! Better make this quick. If anything interferes with Tai Lung's return, the Wu Sisters will be wearing our skins come winter. Did you say the Wu Sisters? Masters of the spinning 12-paw strike? Whoa! Mmm, smells good. Oh, man, I must have missed dinner. And I'm starving. Hello? Excuse me? Anyone? I'm, uh, a little lost. And a lot hungry. Woo, sisters. Well, well, well. Look what we have here, sisters. A big lost panda who's so sad. And, uh, don't forget hungry. What can we do to help this big lost panda so hungry for information that he'd spy on our camp? What? Maybe we can help him find his way. <gasps> Thanks. I'll find my own way. 
this so big, so sad, and so lost, Panda? <laughs> He's saying so long. Oh, sweet! A map! Now maybe I can figure out how to get back to the pilot. The legend of the Dragon Warrior takes many twists and turns. The warrior's journey took him through many trials and through many lands where he faced many enemies. But even though it was said that he wandered vast wastelands in the footsteps of other less mighty and less awesome fallen heroes, they say that his courage knew no bounds. Neither did his greatness or his stamina. They say he was unstoppable. A totally unstoppable fighting force of extraordinary Kung Fu mastery. Although the Kung Fu master was hot, tired, and completely lost, nothing could stop our hero. Oh, I am so disappointed. So hungry. Paul. Paul. What? Where? What? Rise, dragon warrior. It is time for you to fulfill your destiny. M Master Uguay, is that really you? Of course. Why do you ask? Uh, well, you're sort of floating there, and you're covered in massively glowy stuff. Yes? And then there's... Hey, where did you get that cookie? Yes, dragon warrior. Follow your instincts. Follow the cookies. The mystery of this place shall be revealed to you. Follow the cookies, dragon warrior. Almond cookies. All right, cookies, here I come. Come on! Go, 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 go! And... Yeah! At last, the secrets of the almond cookie will be revealed. Why have you come here? Yeah! It's you. I, I mean, you're him. Why I mean... have you come to my training ground? You, you tr tr Oh. Why? I came, came for the cookies? Hey! Whoa! 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 <clears throat> hey, I'm okay. I'm okay! Okay, I'm not okay. Some maps and strategic stuff. Cool! No way! The Wuxi finger hole! Provided by Master Wuxi in the Fourth Dynasty. What's this doing here? It is for you, Dragon Warrior. Is that you, Master Uguay? Time for you to fulfill your destiny. So, uh, no cookies, huh? Hello? It is said that when the Dragon Warrior returned, and saw the Furious Five defeated, Master Shifu did the only thing left that could stop Tai Lung. He presented the Dragon Scroll to the Dragon Warrior. Oh, sweet! <laughs> but, uh, the Dragon Scroll was blank. W what? Oh, uh, however, it is also said that even though it was blank, it had a meaning so mystical and awesome that nobody understood it. Oh, great. <sighs> okay. So with Tai Lung closing in, the Dragon Warrior left with the scroll, thinking that Tai Lung would chase its awesome ultimate power forever, um, even though it was blank, and leave the village in peace. Now Master Shifu would face Tai Lung completely alone. Whoa!
I have come home, Master. This is no longer your home, and I am no longer your master. Ah, yes. You have a new favorite. So where is this Poe? <laughs> Did I scare him off? This battle is between you and me. There doesn't have to be a battle. Just give me what is mine. Give me the Dragon Scroll. I cannot. <laughs> What? Where is the Dragon Scroll? Safe from you. We shall see. Tear this palace apart! It must be here. Find it. I want the Dragon Scroll! Tell me where you put it, old man. You are not the Dragon Warrior. It is not for you. For 20 years I rotted in jail because of your betrayal. Now, give me what I deserve. You are not the Dragon Warrior. It is not for you. Enough! I will find it myself. Destroy him. Everything I did, I did to make you proud. Tell me how proud you are of me now, Shifu. Tell me! Tell me! And it was my pride that blinded me to what you were becoming. I... I am sorry. I don't want your pity, I want my scroll. For the last time, where is it? Far away from you. The real Dragon Warrior has taken it. You see, it is not your destiny. So the story goes that as every bad guy in China descended to loot the village and Tai Lung fought Shifu for the Dragon Scroll, true heroes were made that day. It is said that in order for a true hero to fulfill his destiny, he must face three overwhelming obstacles. His mistakes, his enemies, and his beginnings. Um, but it doesn't say anywhere in there how much going through all of that can totally and completely suck. Uh, Paul? I think it's time I told you something I should have mentioned a long time ago. Okay. The secret ingredient of my secret ingredient soup. Come here. The secret ingredient is... nothing. Wait, wait. It's just plain old noodle soup? You don't add some kind of special sauce or something? Don't have to. To make something special. You just have to believe it's special. It's all in the mind, son. There's no secret ingredient. And that must be the message of the scroll. I just have to believe I'm the Dragon Warrior. I am the Dragon Warrior. Dad, I gotta go to the palace and help Master Shifu. Over here, son! Hey! Get your paws off my dad. Ha! Yeah, I see the resemblance. Uh, 
Sorry, big guy. Store's closed. Huh? Now, Dragon Warrior. I gotta get back to the palace and Master Shifu. Uh, okay. Then those ships are going to be a problem. Ships? What ships? Right. Be right there. Huh? Oh yeah! Get ready to feel the thunder! Cause the Chosen One has crossed the river. Uh-huh, that's right! <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, hi. I was just, uh, gathering my, uh, chi. Yeah, good idea. Paul! The path to the palace has been destroyed! I'll clear you another one past those ships behind the water tower. Water tower? Hey, we can use that to sink both of those ships. One, two, bang, done. Hmm, not bad. Okay, meet me when I give the signal. First, I'll have to take care of those archers. What archers? But how did you... Don't leave me hanging, Master Monkey. <clears throat> Not bad, Paul. Not bad. <laughs> the legend of the Dragon Warrior is ancient and epic. It is shrouded in mind-bending eternal mysteries and legendary kung fu teachings from the awesome masters of the ages. Uh, it's also the only one where really good noodle soup plays a critical role. Even with all that, the Dragon Warrior still struggled to believe in the universe, in the prophecy, and in himself as he faced his greatest challenge. Give me the scroll. The Dragon Warrior has taken the scroll. It's halfway across China by now. You will never have that scroll, Tai Lung. Hey! Remember? Ah. Whew. <clears throat> Stairs. Paul, ah. what are you doing? Let him go. Ah. Who are you? Ah. Haven't I... Buddy, I am the Dragon Warrior. You? Him? He's a panda. What are you going to do, big guy? <laughs> Sit on me. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Nah, I'm gonna use this. Oh! 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 Ah! Shut, shut 
roof in here and swipe a guy's scroll. <laughs> Finally. Now, to embrace my true destiny. There's nothing! You don't get it, do you? What? Ultimate power doesn't come from a piece of paper. It comes from within. Defeat me? You're just a big fat panda! I'm not a big fat panda. I'm the big fat panda. The Wu Shi Finger Hold. You know this hold. Then you also know that the hardest thing about this hold is cleaning up afterwards. <sighs> Shifu didn't teach you that hold. You're right. I figured it out myself. Skidoosh! It's been said the Dragon Warrior ultimately found his way when he chose to look in the right direction, inside himself. Even the Five saw it his way. The hero wasn't the only one to find his way. Master Shifu is now at one with the universe. Or meditating. Or taking a nap. Or something. Master Shifu looked almost kinda happy. It was a little scary. But with Tai Lung defeated and the village at peace, the Dragon Warrior could now join his master in his meditation. Some say that he achieved inner peace that night, others that he fully embraced his destiny. All agree that he underwent a significant transformation. Luckily, he had a change of clothes on hand. Yeah, that is awesome! But there was no time to bask in the glory, for there were still wrongs to right, innocence to protect, Butts to kick. Truly the stuff of legend. Uh, but that's a another story. Shen is defeated! Shen is defeated! Whoa! We did it! What an awesome feeling. Did you see Tigress? She was like, strike lightning. Uh, Po? <laughs> and Monkey? Swinging around all monkey style? That was awesome. Oh, oh, and Po. No worries. I didn't forget you, Viper. With your snickety snakeness. Po, look. Shen may be gone, but his goons still want to take over the city. Oh, so much for celebrating. Come on, let's go. Out of chaos comes opportunity. 
just like we planned. Yes. Now that everyone is distracted, we can take over Gangmen City. And so, it's my belief that... Wait! Wait, wait! Shen's the... Wait, hang on. Ah, ran all the way over here. Ah, side ache. I'm just... I gotta catch my breath. Oh, you're interrupting. Oh, yeah, sorry. But uh, Shen's thugs are running crazy all over town. That's exactly what we were just discussing. Without a strong leader, Shen's followers are becoming criminals. Unless we take control of them, the people of this city will lose their spirit. We must do something. On that, we are all agreed. We should divide up the city, root out the looters, and drive them away for good. I will take the northern area. I shall go west. I can go south to the ducks. Oh, and uh, I'll come along, you know, uh, to uh, give you some backup. Yeah. The masters, so awesome. Like taking candy from babies. We could sell this stuff down the coast. This looting is too easy. Well, I think your job just got a little harder. Prepare to deal with a couple of kung fu masters. You? You! I thought you had enough. I had enough of silly pants. Then his fighting words. Okay, boys. He's all yours. Take care of him. <laughs> hey! I uh, thought this was gonna be a one-on-one -on -one thing. What? <clears throat> Hello, Poe. Need some help? Tigress! Nah, I got it all handled. It's all good. You don't have a ladder, do you? A kung fu master is always prepared. <laughs> Call me any time you need help, huh? Okay, Tigress. Not that I'll need any help being a kung fu master and all. Hmm. We'll have to go through these stolen items and try to identify the rightful owners. Can I help? Actually, Poe. You need to chase down that boss wolf and bring him to justice. Yes, Master Croc. Ready for a chase. Stop that stupid panda! That's in order! You need somebody else to fight your battles? Get him. You heard the orders. Stop him now! All right. You'll have to answer for your crimes to the Kung Fu Council. No! Please! I have to... What's that? Where? Distract you! Ha! They all look over their trick! So long, Panda! Oh, I hate that one! No worries, Poe. I'll follow him and get back to you. Thanks, Crane! Guess I better get back to Master Croc and see what he's learned. Uh, Master Croc, that's an awful lot of stuff. Do you need some help? Not carrying these, but I do need you. For what? You can defend us from the wolves that have infested the forest along our way. I'm counting on you, Paul. We must restore the Temple of Clear Water to its original glory. Uh, Master Croc? The temple is a source of inspiration and pride. Uh, excuse me, Master. It's a good thing we haven't run into any wolves yet, isn't it? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could be of more help here, Paul. Haven't you furballs caused enough trouble? Well, now you're gonna get a fistful of panda! Ah, uh, the shrine. This used to be a very peaceful place to meditate. Not anymore. Looks like the wolves have messed it up pretty good. Of your skills, Master Bo. Now, let's see. The wolves came from there, so that must be the direction of the temple, right? Uh, you're not sure where you're going, are you? Of course I'm sure. Wherever I go, then there I am. Ah, oh, yes, we must be close. I can't sense it. Oh, we're close. Close to an army of wolves! You're doomed. <laughs> yes, we are close. By my reckoning, 
The temple is just through this wall. Master, uh, we may be good at kung fu, but I don't think we can just walk through walls. Can't we? It is time I teach you a technique I call acupunch. Acupunch? That sounds awesome. Oh my yes, this seems familiar. We should be here any minute. Seems familiar because we've already been here. Uh, Master, I think we're going in circles. We've already been here. Mm. Well, we should move in a line, not a circle. Let's see. Uh, Paul, I think we are lost. You think? Ah, uh, yes, I agree, Master. Perhaps some quiet meditation would help us figure out the best path. Got it! The shrine! What if we go back to the shrine? You said it was an excellent place to meditate. Ah, yes. A calm place for a calm mind. Maybe then I can remember. Good idea, Master Paul. Things are looking up. Ah, peace. Oh, oh! I've uncovered the entire wolf operation. Play. Shh. Master Croc is meditating. Found them? Yes, and we can defeat all of them. But I'm gonna need your help. There'll be lots of kung fu action. Well, um, I really should wait for Master Croc. I can't wait. Let's go do some kung fu. We already defeated all these guys. Oh, oh, you have no idea how many wolves there are in the forest. More than a lot? Way. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, check out that huge pile of fireworks over there. Let's destroy it so the wolves can't use it. Clear water. Oh, I see what you did. You tricked him by letting him trick you. Very tricky. Hey, oh, he's headed for the shrine where Master Croc is meditating. Now he's there. I think he's lost in meditation. It happens. That's it. I know where the secret entrance to the temple is. It's here, in the waters of this very shrine. You don't say. Uh, thank you, Master Croc, for your masterful meditation. Well, we found the temple. And it's filled with wolves! Oh my. They have wrecked the temple. They sure never learned to clean up after themselves. Ah, I'm so tired of these guys. Now 
now the wolves have barricaded themselves inside. The only way in is to the top floor. I'm gonna need Monkey's help for this. <coughs> no problem, Paul! We're entering the Hall of Quiet Contemplation. It is one of the most beautiful and serene places in the temple. Yeah, well... You! Again! Get the panda! I need him to show me where the real treasure is. You don't get it, do you? The only treasure here is the kind you find in your heart and in your soul. What kind of treasure is that? The very best kind. Besides, I just tricked you into coming here so we could follow you. No treat, only a trick! That makes me so mad! Attack! This isn't going well. I have, uh, somewhere to be. Not this time, Furface. Okay, finally. For the last time, you'll answer for your crimes to the Kung Fu Council! Look, I'm sorry. I... What's that? What? Master C in the pond? Awesome! You must find the rest of the jade statuettes that are lost in the forest. Right, Master Croc. I'll track them down. Thank you, Good Pooh, for finding all the jade statuettes. What is this? A note? It's instructions for the wolves to trash the temple. And it's signed with some symbol? I don't know that symbol, but it appears to be very ancient. The wolf leader could not have found this temple on his own. Yeah, this stinks like last week's noodles. I'll have to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> okay, you big gorilla. Prepare for some Kung Fu Fury! Po, this way! We need to stop the gorillas from raiding the gunpowder stockpiles. <laughs> On it. Thanks, Tigress. <laughs> stealing gunpowder with me around. I guess I showed those guys not to fool around with me, huh? Poe, I'm troubled. There's only half as much gunpowder here as there was. What? Half? Yes. More gorillas must be getting away. I will head them off before they escape the city. Poe, head back the way we came. Yo, Poe! We have to stop these wolves from eating everything in sight! I'm on it, Mantis. Oh, I could use your help clearing out the next block of buildings. Lead the way, oh dangerous one. I'll slip into the cracks and open the door from the other side. Rising rocket punch! Stinging face! I could do that all day! That might be really useful. I like the way you think. But first, we have to throw fists. Oh. say every time a door opens, it's, uh... Uh, open? Something like that. <laughs> I'm going after him! Helps to be small. Uh, this is a very unpleasant surprise, guys. I 
better get the rest of those looters. I know where they're headed. We can catch them in a bit. We have more work here. Whoa! Is that the seal of the armorer at Shantu Palace? It is. He would never work for these gorillas. They must be holding him prisoner. Right. Then we'll have to rescue him. Now we can make our way to Shantu Palace. I am so ready to kick some gorilla butt! Very good. Whoa! Look at him go! <laughs> the gate is open. Let's keep moving, Poe. This is palace, isn't it? Totally. Poe, do not take it all on yourself. You can have help here. We will need the villagers to lower the drawbridge so we can cross that chasm. Right. Let's go see if we can find some help. Help us! You must do something! They're eating all of our food! We're here to take them out! Uh, where are they exactly? The wolves and gorillas have barricaded themselves in our houses! Then it's time to save the village! Yay! <laughs> <sighs> now we can reopen our shops. What if the wolves and gorillas return? They might come back. Don't worry. We're here to take care of these bad boys once and for all. Ho, oh, perhaps some music will suit her. Uh, you don't want me to sing, trust me. Ho, oh, try that instrument. Music is much like Kung Fu. Center yourself, find your inner peace, and play. <sighs> okay, Master. I'll give it a try. Stuck there. If you need a lift, I'm here. Fire! Ah! Ha! That was close. Too close. I can't have you lift me over the palace walls. It's too dangerous. We have to be careful, Poe. Those looters that stole all the gunpowder are hiding in the cliffs. That doesn't sound good. It might be good. If we can get the gunpowder back, we can blast open the doors to Shantu Palace. I like the way you think, Mantis. Ah! Guess we don't have to look for the looters. They found us. Be careful what you wish for. Ooh. I'm not afraid of some panda. There are no panda. Kick his big hairy butt! Okay... It's not his size that bothers me. It's his crazy! Ooh, I hear you. Awesome. Okay, where's the gunpowder? Oh, never talk. Never! Gotta talk, or you'll get a triple roundhouse kick to your eardrum. I can't take it. Stop! I'll tell you! <sighs> we had all the gunpowder at the end of the tunnel. So tight only a wolf can get into. It's between the bridges to the east. Mantis, you rock. Thanks, Poe. Let's go find that gunpowder. The tunnel! I got this covered. That's good, because there's no way I can fit in there. Where's the gunpowder? Ah, gotcha! Whoa, big mistake. There are too many of these guys. Ho, oh, I gotta find a place to hide! Mantis, you okay? Find him. Find that little bug. Mantis? Mantis! Don't worry, I'll get you out. Soon as I find a way to fit in there. <gasps> hey, I bet Shifu could help me out. Master Shifu, Mantis is trapped in a tunnel by wolves. You have to teach me some technique, any technique, to make myself smaller. Smaller? Ho, oh, you're a panda. Small isn't in your nature. Please, Master! There has to be something you can teach me. Hmm. Actually, there is one thing I know that might work. A very rare technique called the Kung Fu Curl. Kung Fu Curl? What does that have to do with being small? That's what you will learn. The 
Kung Fu Curl is a way of spinning one's body so neither air nor earth can control it. Oh, <laughs> okay. What does that mean? Maybe it's best if I just show you. Amazing! Like a kung fu cannonball. That's a good way to think of it. Now, you try, Paul. No way! That was awesome! Yes, it is also useful against crowds of enemies, because they cannot stop it. Thank you, Master Shifu. It's all the time. Okay. Everybody grab a torch. Let's find out if pandas like to play with fire. Mantis! It's okay, you can come out! I took care of your friends. Uh, oh? I'd love to come out, but I'm a little lost here. Where are you? In some tunnel behind the walls. Not quite sure how to get out. Stay put. I'll come find you. Hey, thanks for finding me. I thought I'd be lost, like, forever. <laughs> what are friends with cool kung fu moves for, right? Watch this. Kung Fu Curl! Ow! Oh, it works, but it hurts. Oh, you got mad skills, Po! Yeah, Shifu taught me that trick. Very impressive. You think? Cool! Let's keep going. Now that is a whole heap of gunpowder. We can take it to the palace and rig the whole place to blow. Yeah! We can completely blast it to pieces with this. I'll make sure all of it gets there. You sure you want to run off by yourself? Because that went so well the first time. Yeah, well, I won't get too far anymore. No more thinking I can fight everybody by myself. Just call me if you need me. Thanks, Master Mantis. We make an awesome team. What are they doing? We ought to stop them. Hey, fellas! Hit me! I dare you! Go on! Hey, fellas! I dare you! Yeah! He dares you! Climbing... to... much... Climbing... Ah, come on, you... Ah. Ah. Nice view, though. Not for long, Panda. <laughs> Whoa! Nice armor. The last set of armor you'll ever see. No way. He did not just do a swan dive off this tower. He did. Oh, and he landed it. Wasn't a good landing. It'll cost him some style points. At least he's out of the palace. Wish he'd left that awesome armor. Thank you. Oh, thank you, great Poe the Mighty Warrior. No problem. It's what I do. I only wish that nasty gorilla had not escaped with my best ever armor. I would rather it be destroyed than be used by him. You are one serious craftsman. I like Kung Fu and all. Does there have to be so much climbing? Jeez, how many of you gorillas are there? Too many for you to handle. I don't think so. Why don't you just open the gate and let me out? Save us all some time. No can do. Our orders are to keep you here in the castle while the captain takes the village. There's the bear and his bug buddy. Stop him! I've already kicked you out of this village once. <laughs> yeah, Poe, let's make some monkey mayhem! Back to pound paws again, Panda. You didn't hurt me last time, because I got this bomb, remember? Oh, yeah? But there's no tower to dive off this time. Oh, you're right. Now I'm so scared. <laughs> I've got some extra firepower. Oh, look out! My armor! You broke it! I'm gonna make you pay for that. Yeah? Put it on my tab. Let's beat it! Clear out! I'm not waiting around! <laughs> Bo beat him! The looters are defeated! Our village is free! Whoa, Bo, that was some fight! 
My best armor. Ruined. But I'm glad you returned it to its rightful home. Thank you, Master Poe. No problemo. All part of being a Kung Fu master, like me. Whew. There. That's all the armor I could find. Excellent job, Master Poe. Thank you for your hard work. Wait. What is this? A note delivered to... I don't know that symbol. Hmm. This means the gorillas weren't acting alone. Who are they working for? This is a mystery stuffed with a puzzle layered with a riddle and covered in secret sauce. Thank you, Master Ox. Thanks, Master Poe. You saved the city. We'd do it all again if we had to. We may indeed have to. Yeah, that does sort of look suspicious, doesn't it? I recognize the distinctive swords they carry. You there! Stop! Stop! Thieves! Yeah! Stop! Door closed! Oh, yes! Master Monkey has arrived! Hey, where'd he go? Ready to lose? You're going down. Huh? Follow the thieves while I deal with this pack of fur balls. No problem, Paul. <sighs> yes. Guess I showed those wolves. You did. They were only a distraction. Oh uh, yeah, I knew that. Just checking. So where exactly did this guy go? He went to the undercity. Undercity. Where's that? It's a secret city under the city, Master Poe. Right. <laughs> I knew that. Totally. Whoa! What an excellent old statue. It is also a door. A secret door to the Undercity. But I have never opened it. To get there, we must enter the dragon. <laughs> I'm sure we can figure it out. I mean, it can't be that hard, can it? Overwhelmed by the Undercity. It is a dark place. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dark. What was that? Did you hear that? We cannot let locked doors stand in our way now. No way! You shattered the door using only your foot! When you properly focus your chi, you can accomplish anything. I'll show you this technique. Later. There he is! And he's got friends. Lots of friends. Ah, he's... he's really ugly. He's a Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons have not been heard from in a long while. Find them in the city now is... Ugly? Disturbing. We must go out to the desert and investigate. The desert? Ah, coming now! You must understand this basic fact. The Komodo dragons are ravagers who destroy everything they touch. Then they move on to destroy even more. Anyone or anything that could survive out here would have to be tough. Yes. But if they come to Gongmen City in force, they will leave it as desolate as this place. Komodo dragons! Yes. Prepare for the fight of your life. Oh, those dragon guys are way tough. But they don't know what's about to hit them. This desert rabble is nothing. The masked dragons we encountered in the city were well armed, disciplined, and far more dangerous. We must find those dragons. Wow, really? Maybe we should split up and search. Amazing! Thank you, Poe! The dragons took everything! You just missed Master Monkey. Monkey? You've seen Monkey? We didn't get to see him do much kung fu, though. He ran through here with a bunch of masked Komodo dragons on his tail. He didn't even stop for tea. I'm sure he meant no insult. Which way did he go? West. He went west. Found him! Monkey's footprints. And like a gazillion Komodo dragon tracks! Master Monkey! Monkey! Oh, yeah. 
I'm here to rescue you. Yeah, but who's going to rescue you? Yeah, I did. Smash you too. So was I. Oh, I found the Komodo dragon's hideout. That's why the whole army was chasing me. Yeah, from the tracks, I could tell there was a big army. Can you take me there? Sure. Uh, uh, it's a big, ugly barricade. The Komodo dragon built it. We must find a way through. Master, what about your cheatastic technique? Actually, Cole. I think it's time I teach you my thunder strike. It's all about centering and focusing your chi, your inner energy. Here, practice your thunder strike on these trunks. Wait, monkey, I've already been here. You've been here, but you haven't been here. This door leads to a whole series of tunnels. They won't expect us coming through here, will they? <laughs> oh. What? Now they know we're coming. <laughs> Look at all this rubble. We'll need Mantis to help us through here. I can get through there and clear out the mess, no problem. <laughs> well, well, it's a couple of Kung Fu masters. Your skills won't help you here. Oh yeah? And who are you? <laughs> Sorry I asked. <laughs> Got. Not exactly. Oh yeah? I've seen bigger cannons than these. Oh! Monkey! How did you get past the cannons? I'm very sneaky. <laughs> Let's go, and I can get you to the higher chamber. Come on! And mighty foe. Ha! Getting this far will only change one thing for you. Really? What's that? You'll go from being a kung fu master to being a lost warrior. Look, you thieving lizards. You don't scare me. I can take you. I don't think you'll get the chance. You'll be entombed in this place forever. <laughs> Wow! That was totally cool, Master Ox. A Kung Fu Master is like the wind. We can find many different ways to travel. The remaining Black Blade must be found and returned to Gongmen City. Their symbolic value to the Komodo Dragons cannot be measured. Right. I'm on it. Congratulations, Po, for finding all of the Black Blades. Master, this symbol on the blade, I remember it from Xiao Dan's throne room. Where did these black blades come from? That is something no one knows. But they are ancient symbols of conquest and victory. Maybe Zhao Dan didn't want them to sell. Maybe he wanted them so he could become a conqueror. That poem is a very frightening possibility. So, Paul, what do you think is going on here? I think Xiao Dan is behind it all. Agree. He created chaos using the gorillas and the wolves to lure the masters away from Gongmen City. Yes, but why? Wait, I know. It's so awful. Xiao Dan wants to be a conqueror. The conqueror of Gongmen City. He did all of this to leave the city undefended. We, we must, must get, get back, back to, to Gongmen, Gongmen city. city. Viper, where did all these Komodo dragons come from? They started popping out of holes in the street, everywhere. They took over everything. Don't worry, we'll get rid of them. Even if that means doing it one lizard at a time. Quickly, dispatch more dragons then. Who let the masters back into the city? No matter, there are more than enough of us to handle. Oh yeah? Well, I think your math is lousy because it looks to me like you don't have enough guys. 
<laughs> nope. Ah! Destroy the panda! What? That tricky Zhao Dan keeps disappearing in a puff of smoke like magic. Magic? With a trap door. Look. He went into the Undercity. Ah! I can't even fit in there if I use my Kung Fu Curl. But I know another way there. The Dragon Gate! I'll go this way. How is this army so big? He offers free acupuncture to all his employees. That's a good tactic. Poe. Is that you, Poe? Viper! Where are you? I'm up here. City should belong to the strong, the cunning, the ruthless. Someone like me! Quite the showman, I must admit. So, fellow Komodo dragons, it is time for the main event. It is time for me, the mighty Zhao Dan, to stop this chubby furbo once and for all. Are you ready for a real fight? At least try to put up a fight. I'd like my soldiers to feel inspired. Look, my scaly friends. Kung Fu is about having the ability to fight, but the wisdom to know that you don't have to. Think about me and the Furious Five. We're all different, but we all get along. We celebrate our differences. You know what we Komodo dragons celebrate? A great conqueror! I'm only fighting you because I have to. Since I have to, I think I'll kick your scaly butt. Oh, yeah! Oh. Okay, lizards, you want some of this? Yay! Oh, you did it! You beat the Komodo dragons. <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? But you all helped. It's not about the one, it's about the all. Let's go back to the city and celebrate, Poe. <laughs> Kung Fu always wins in the end. It was our duty. And it was totally cool! Citizens, I give you the Heroes of Gongmin City! Yeah. 